Hey, what's going on guys? So I am very excited. I got my Microtech knife back. Here it is. You'll see some information about that on the outside. With, uh, which is kind of discreet too. It doesn't say like, hey, Microtech knife. You see the model is UT for Ultratech, you know, of course the uh, production and so forth. Um, but it doesn't just scream like, hey, expensive knife, please steal me. Right now the mail is totally screwed. That's the only way I can really put it to you guys. Um, I have knives that I'm waiting for in trades that have taken weeks that should have taken days. I have knives that I sent out in trade that, you know, three, four, five days uh, past when they should have got it. Um, I'm doing a trade for a shotgun. The shotgun should have arrived here, like, I don't know, probably four or five days ago at least. Um, Christine and I have ordered things for my niece and nephew for Christmas. Uh, and, you know, I'm talking like a month and a half ago and no idea where they are. So, like, what happened with this package was actually, it was pretty annoying, and, um, I mean, I'm glad I had the package, but, uh, this, let me, let me go back a second. I'm a little frustrated here. Let me, let me, let me step back and tell you the story. So, as you saw on the first video, if you did see the video, um, this, uh, Microtech knife was missing a screw, and the, um, switch on the side was a little bit loose, so sometimes it would kind of pop off the track and get stuck a little bit, so I wanted to, uh, set it back to Microtech. So that was about a month ago, okay? So this took about a month, um, turnaround time. Once they got it, you know, they received it. I shipped it through UPS like they wanted to, got insurance on it, the whole thing. Once it arrived, they uh, let me know it arrived by email, and then it started, like, you know, the ticket that you have to start through their, uh, you know, warranty process. It showed they had it, and it showed it was in progress. And I, you know, every single day checked it out, refreshed it. And then eventually uh, it says that it was done and going to be shipped back. So I was really excited about it. And as I mentioned in the first video, they send these packages with a signature confirmation. So it's extremely important that you're home. I don't, if you miss the package, I don't know what happens. Obviously, you'll get sent back. I have to assume that they just charge you for shipping back. Whereas in this case, they didn't charge me for shipping. But obviously, if you're not there, you're not available. It goes back to them. It's a hassle. So they have to charge you to get it back. So I didn't want to spend any more money than I had to, obviously. And I didn't want to have to wait and wait and wait longer. So uh, I was very, very uh, focused on making sure I was here. They gave me a, a date that it was supposed to arrive. The UPS tracking, as soon as this was shipped out, you know, I arrived by email and uh, I knew the date. Now, as the date was arriving, there was something I had to do and I had to completely blow it off to make sure I was home all day for UPS to come and deliver this, okay? Now, my UPS driver that I always have, usually, is awesome. The guy is amazing. He does his job so well. He's so nice. We have little chats, you know, when he's dropping off packages and stuff. Um, and he, you know, he always goes out of his way to make sure that my, my stuff's put away so it doesn't get wet if it's raining and, and so forth. This the best delivery driver I've ever experienced, ever. I give him a really nice tip at Christmas, a really nice car and everything. But this year, there's a lot of helpers, right? So there's these two guys that have been driving around lately and they're driving around like in an SUV uh, nothing's marked at all they just have like a reflective vest but they're delivering for UPS there's so much overflow there's so many packages again I mean not only do you have people ordering online more than ever because they don't want to go to the stores and get sick but it's also Christmas it's just it's one of those things it, it, it's never really been like this ever in my entire life all right it's totally messed up but anyway so this guy I hear a knock at the door and it's not the normal uh, driver. The normal driver would have been standing there waiting for me to sign. So I hear a knock at the door. I peek out the window, you know, one of the other rooms, and I, and I see that he's standing there, right? So I run. Now, I run to the door to make sure that I can get him. By the time I get to the door and open it, he's already in his car pulling away. I'm yelling. I'm like, come back, come back. So I'm like, I can't believe I just missed this guy. He gave me no time at all, right? So then I'm walking back to the door because I ran up the driveway, like literally chasing this guy. And he just drove off, never looked in his mirrors or did and didn't care. Who knows? Um, so I, uh, I come back and the package is sitting there at the door. OK, so what happened was he signed for this package. I was supposed to sign for it. Signature confirmation is a, uh, you know, a feature that you can pay for to ensure that the right recipient gets the package. Now, my problem with that is, number one, I, I wasted my entire day to get this package. Uh, but more importantly, if this was delivered to the wrong house or if this was delivered damaged or the knife wasn't here or anything, I'm screwed because he signed my name for me. That's not cool. It's not cool. It's not allowed, but it happened. All right. I understand they're in, you know, under a lot of pressure and all that stuff, but that is not good. 
I've had to have them before with a DHL driver uh, years ago where I get these delivery confirmation packages that were very important and uh, and he would just sign for me. And one time I caught him in the driveway, he was leaving. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa I got to sign for the package. He's like, oh no, I signed for, you know, signed for it uh, for you, you know, so I can leave it there. And I'm like, why are you doing that? And I like really got in his case and he thought like he was doing me a favor. I'm like, dude, if you sign for that and you leave that there and someone steals it, it shows that I got it. That's, that's messed up. I can't defend myself. That's the end of the road, okay? That's proof from the company that I got it. So anyway, that's just a personal pet peeve of mine. And rant is over. I know you don't really care about any of that. You just want to see what, what happened with the knife. So here we go. <laughs> so here's the knife. All right, I just opened this, took a quick peek because I was impatient. But we're going to go ahead and, uh, and open it together again. So right on top here, this had a bunch of packing peanuts in it, by the way, so I get rid of all those. Right on top, we got a free patch, which is awesome. I love their uh, their claw logo. All right, so let's open this up. I actually didn't even open this myself to see what this says or anything. But yeah, how about that? We got a nice, uh, cool patch. Love it. All right, so it looks like maintenance, preventive maintenance. <coughs> preventive maintenance for an OTF. So that's good to know. So I just go ahead and pull here. If you guys are curious what this says, I'll slowly scan it so you guys can pause your screen. If you'd like to read all this information here, of course I'll read this later, but I don't want to waste any time. There you go. Thank you from the Microtech team. So, they sent this in a box. I actually didn't send them a box, so they sent back a like generic Microtech box with no uh, stickers or anything on it. All right. And here it is. A nice piece of plastic. This is definitely the same knife. I remember this specifically, this rub here. Now I believe it was this screw that was missing and it is no longer missing. So there it is. All right, let's check it out, the action. Well, it opens, it shuts. It opens, it shuts. Seems to work to me. Um, again, the big issue the first time was when you're, when I was opening this, sometimes the vibration from it opening, um, again, this button would lift up. There's still, there's a little play left and right and up and down, like there should be originally, but it seems like there's less play. I don't know, because the screw is literally the furthest it could be from the button, I don't know if putting the screw in helped that problem or if they just realigned something. I don't really know. Um... But I can tell you that I'm, I'm very happy with that. It is definitely not hanging up like it did before. Like I said, you probably saw from the first video if you remember it, but sometimes you go to open it and then when I go to close it, <clears throat> again, this button would like lift up ever so slightly so it would lock. It would just not wanna uh, pull back at all unless I pushed it in into the frame. Uh, but that seems to be no longer a problem. So how about that? Um, for memory, it was sharp, so I don't know if they Sharpened it, but it is still nice and sharp. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a quick little cut test <coughs> on our box here. I don't want to cut my my uh, tablecloth here. So yeah, I mean, seems to be working well. So yeah, we're we're back in business. I love it. Very very happy to have gotten this one back. Uh, particularly because it's a more expensive knife. You know, sometimes I send out for repair. It's just like, you know, I, I know eventually I'll get them back. But this one was one that I was really, really just focused on and excited to get back as soon as possible. Uh, right now, with everything going on, a month's turnaround time is not bad at all. Um, I feel like what happens is it's not like it takes them a month to fix it. They get the things. They have packages there. They have, you know, dozens of packages sitting there waiting. And then you have a technician, you know, and one day he'll come in and he'll take a knife and... He'll work on it, you know, whatever it happens to need. Maybe take 10 minutes, maybe it takes an hour. I don't really know. And then he you know, moves on to the next knife, and it just takes a while for him to get to your knife. And then I figure, like, once they fix it, it might be sitting there ready to go out for a couple days or even a week. You know, and then it finally goes out, and you finally get it back. So even though it was a month turnaround time, it didn't take a month to fix. It probably took 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. Took it apart, cleaned it, uh, looked at what was going on, and obviously put it back together and replaced the screw. So I am very, very happy about that awesome 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 and free patch again was a uh, a nice bonus there so uh i'd give this two thumbs up 
Good job, Microtech. I've heard some, some bad stories before, people just not getting stuff taken care of. I can only go by my own experiences. This is my one and only experience. If I have another Microtech in the future that has some kind of problem or something, I'll, I'll do this again. But I'm very pleased. Uh, I'm pleased with uh, the entire process. It was pretty straightforward. It was inconvenient that I had to use UPS. Uh, it was inconvenient for the whole signature confirmation thing, which in the end didn't even matter. Um, but hey, it is what it is. That's the process. So now you know, and uh, and that's all. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. If you've sent in Microtech knives, like I asked the first time, post your experiences, your little stories down in the comments section. Who knows? Maybe they had bad customer service and I got really lucky, or maybe the people who complain are just complainers. It's so common now for people to write reviews and stuff online. You know, if you buy something on Amazon, it's 5,000 reviews, whatever. It doesn't matter how good something is or, or how great the service is. Someone always has something to complain about, you know? Uh, even the best of the best products, you'll see like, you know, 5,000 thumbs up or 5,000 five out of five stars. And there's always like two or three dudes or women or whatever that are just like one star. I was unhappy about this and this. And it's like, come on. That sounds petty. But uh, whatever. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. But my opinion is their customer service and uh, repair shop was A-OK -okay with me. So let me know if you uh, disagree. Let everyone know all the details as to why because that's important. So that's all. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take it easy guys.